I'm back. I'm really trying to pop out videos at the moment, but I have one more wrapping up video to film because I don't think I have anything else to film for 2023 or for 2024 because I've just dwindled in the amount of content that I actually filmed to wrap up. But today's video is about the series that I completed in 2023. I finished seven series in 2023, which is more than I normally read. Like, I've normally been sitting around the five to six series mark. So seven is like a step up. It definitely is. And I am excited because some series I actually read more than just one book in the series. Like, one, I've read all six in the year. That is a milestone for me. So I'm excited to get into this. This is probably going to be like more of a quick rapid fire video, but just the way to show you what I finished. I'm going to keep like coming in from the side just because they're all on that side of the bed and I just cleaned my sheets. So like there's a mess in here. This looks good. Everything else is a fucking mess. But yes, the first series is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. So I take it back. I did only read the third book to finish this series last year, but I read Dreams of Gods and Monsters for um, the Magical Readathon prompt to finish a series, and I picked this chonky boy. That was smart, but I finally finished it, and to be fair, I only like the first book in this series. I don't like when it goes war and political and the relationship just gets weird. I am only a fan of the shit here, where it was just so interesting and like the reveal at the end, you know, it's all good and it's mysterious and they're in Prague and then it's all in the battle and the explosion and, the, and it's like, I don't like that as much. So overall, this trilogy went downhill for me, but I'm glad I finally finished it. I'm also holding everything in order of when it comes off my shelf so I don't have to repack and arrange. Can I even hold these? It's, it's happening. Broken Bonds! I read the whole fucking thing. So I listened to one of the audiobooks a month. I bought the physical book so I could get them signed by Jay Bree because that made sense. I might physically read them at some point. But yes, I read Broken Bonds, Savage Bonds, Blood Bonds, Force Bonds, Tragic Bonds, and Unbroken Bonds. This series is a freaking mess of a series, but it's great. Like, I honestly really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. First book isn't as fun because of the bullying aspects, but then it just gets into the drama of the resistance and the fighting and all the things going on. So it just becomes a fun time. Next I have Witch Please by Anna Aguirre. So I read all of these this year, which is another series that I read in its entirety with obviously uh, Witch Please, Boss Witch and Extra Witchy. So I really enjoyed the first one a lot. Second one was really good as well and I really enjoyed the third one because it was like a fake relationship and fake dating always gets me. But I really recommend this. And the witch vibes are just immaculate so if you want something fun and quirky I highly recommend this series. My next series completed was His Dark Materials because I really wanted to watch the TV show but I needed to read the books to do that. I read The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass this year. I enjoyed it but this is a very mid-series for me because this just type of fantasy where it's just so thick and dense isn't my favorite thing. Like the TV show is very interesting for me to watch and very easy to watch. But then reading this, I just felt like I was dredging through it. But I'm happy that I've achieved it and I've accomplished it. And also I got to go to Oxford and like he wrote there. So I just felt more kid with that. Like we got to go to the bench. There's a lot of things that were good about me finishing this series. Then I finished the uh, Secretly Yours duology. Like I feel like it's something about vineyards and vines. But I read Secretly Yours and Unfortunately Yours both this year. I listened to the audiobooks for these. I really liked both of these and Tessa Bailey has just kind of become like an autobi author for me. So I'm going to try and listen and read to all of her books ever. It's a vibe and I'm excited. Oh, this was an achievement. The Lunar Chronicles. I finally finished this series and I am proud of it. So I read Crest Winter fairest and stars above this year that was an achievement and i buddy read each of them with cat and we also buddy read scarlet together we just hadn't read cinder but we basically did it all actually we did a pretty good job and i loved the series when i first read it like seven years ago or whatever when it was really popular and i only got to the first three so coming in as a 25 year old i finally finished the series and i I'm really happy about it and I really liked knowing what finally happened to all the characters. I loved seeing where the relationships went and it was just a whole vibe. But it's just fun when you can read with a friend and you can message each other all your thoughts and feelings about it at the time. It just really makes the experience. And then I finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I don't know if this has a series name. But I read Good Girl Bad Blood. 
as good as dead and I wanted to really finish the series so I could add it to my list so I read Killjoy so that it was all done. I could seriously read this again. It's so good. I enjoyed it so much and it's up there with Truly Devious for me. I'm not really a murder mystery fan. There's only particularly ones that I like and this is one of them. I enjoyed it so much. And as a lot of you should probably know there is a TV show coming so I'm very keen about that as well. But another one that I highly recommend and if you do read it message me and tell me what you think. Anywho that is all my completed series. I'm really proud of that for the fact as I said before I read so many of them outright and I'm just proud about that. Definitely not going to lift him because that shit's heavy but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know how many series you completed last year and if you have a parameter of like where you're going to go this year or if you're just going to keep going with the flow. Like there's always so many different things to read so you never know you might just read standalones all year. I wonder if anyone actually does that because that'd be pretty cool. But anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!